Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Bolo category video for you guys, and it is on matchbooks. And I think it was my last live show, somebody shared matches that they sold. And I was like, that is super cool. And I'm pretty sure that somebody put in the comments that um, the auction professor has a video on matchbooks or something like that. I don't know, I haven't seen it but I have watched his videos before and he is fantastic. So definitely go and check him out. Um, this is my spin on matchbooks, which you guys know what I do. I search solds. I try to find you guys little uh, tips and things to look for, items to be on the lookout for by category from time to time. I also have my what sold bolo videos. Uh, I have my bread and butter bolo videos. I have my live show that's every Wednesday night. This is if you guys are new to the channel. I have my thrift with me's, my garage sale with me videos. So definitely check out some of the other content on my channel. But this one is about matchbooks. Matchbooks that sell for big, huge money, big bolos. And I'm gonna show you some of the things to look for. And we're gonna get started. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that thumbs up. And all of those things help the channel, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, so the first item is this John Deere matchbook, guys. It's John Deere, but it's advertising, and it's John Deere. And John Deere stuff is collectible, but check out the coolness, coolness of these matches. Are they not the coolest thing ever? I love them. So if you see matches that look like this, that actually have like the, what would you call it? The print or whatever it is on the actual mat, the pictures on the matches, Bolo, definitely a Bolo. Wait until you see some of these other ones, but super, super cool. I'm gonna, I think that you have to ship these ground. I'm, I'm almost a hundred percent, but uh, yeah, I don't think these should go in the air. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got to ship them ground, but they've got standard shipping here. We'll see what some of the other ones say. Sometimes people just don't know and they ship things wrong. So look that up before you ship matches. But these matches sold for $67, 30 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these um, 1930s diamond baseball matchbooks. And I don't think these have the matches in them. So these would probably be okay to ship out. I don't think it matters if they have the part that you, you know, strike the match on. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Does anybody know? Comment below. How do you ship matches? And if they don't have the matches in them, are you free to ship them priority mail? But these are really cool. These sold for $480 with 29 bids plus shipping. So you guys definitely be on the lookout, even if they don't have the matches. I could see people collecting these for sure. The next item is this meet me at Disneyland. And Disneyland, you guys know, items that are um, Disneyland themed or related or branded definitely can be a bolo. You always want to look those up. But this is a matchbook and it sold for $134.50. 27 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And I think ground shipping is like $7 in some cents. So they're definitely shipping this first class. So I don't know. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that in the comments. All right. These are cute. They're little Miller High Life uh, matches. Aren't they cute? Uh, this looks like it's a lot of them but it sold for $92 with 26 bids plus shipping. The next item is, I don't know what these are. They're two boxes from the 1900s and they're antique. Uh, it says candle matches, but I don't know how they work, but they are super cool. I would see that and have no idea what it was. Oh, okay, so you pull out the matches. Oh, they do look like candles. Oh my gosh, that is so wild. Look at it. They're candles. That is, now that is a cool bolo right there. 
These sold for $320 with 23 bids. I get it. This makes sense. Those are cool. Amazing. From the 1900s. Wow. The next item are these star beer matchbook. And I don't think the matches are in this one. I can't tell. I wish they had more pictures. Let's see. The striker is cut off. I'm out of work and bored out of my mind. So I'm listing a lot of old beer bar tavern and brewery matchbook covers. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So this is just a matchbook cover with no striker even. And this sold for $56.99, 21 bids, and they have a dollar shipping. So mm, something's not right there. Making sure my screen share is up. <gasps> the next item are these movie star match covers. And again, I think somebody's just collecting these. So there are no, um, no matches, which it looks like each, the, each color has the same person on it. So the same person, and then they're in different colors. Huh. From the 1930s, there's 141 of them. And these sold for $610. How cool is that? And this person's store is Matchbook Relics. You guys want to go look at it? I do. See other items. Like some people like specialize in these. Ooh, I might not want to go in here. They've got some like, looks like some naughty naughties. That's another thing. You know, the matchbooks with the like pinup girls and stuff like that are probably a bolo. But I wanted to go to highest first, but I'm afraid of what I might see. Okay. Looks okay. So, like, here's 2,300 match covers. So, if this person sells them, they probably buy them, look for stuff like this, and then sell the rest. 3,900. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. All struck. All right, the next item is this little Gucci matches. Unopened. How cute is that? That's pretty cool. Sold for $70.01, 19 bids plus shipping. The next item is this matchbook cover. And again, this is a John Deere. It's just the cover, you guys. This is crazy. $66.99 plus shipping. And they're probably just shipping that with a stamp. The next item are more of these diamond matchbook baseball cards. And it looks like they're empty. No matches. Sold for $132.50 with 19 bids plus shipping. John Deere, another one. Did I do this one already? That might have been the first one I did. Sorry, guys. That might be a repeat. $71, 18 bids plus shipping. I want to know now. Let's see. Nope, it's different. And it sold for more, actually. And again, the matches have, it; they are the same on the inside, but the outside advertising is different. Okay, this one is a snowmobile dealer, and there's only one picture. Let's see, here's some more pictures. And it's just the cover. Just the cover. Amazing. Sold for $33.85. Free shipping on this one, 17 bids. This is a Ferguson Farm matchbook with the matches sold for $23 16 bids plus shipping this is a matchbook holder which is kind of cool sold for $86 16 bids plus shipping these are fun so again it's got the um I like the ones where the matches have the picture on them. I think that's really neat. It's probably called something, but I don't know what it is. Um, but it's unused matchbook sold for $31 plus shipping um, with 15 bids. And I think if that one had a buy it now or best offer, it may have gone for more because that that that's cool advertising right there. The next item is another John Deere. And again, it doesn't really matter what's on the outside because the inside is so cool. Sold for $56, 14 bids plus shipping. Okay, so let's go to Olympic Park for a swim. It's an advertising matchbook for an amusement park. I do believe it's empty and I don't see the striker. 
Um, and it sold for $51.51 with 13 bids and free shipping. And it's from the 1930s. Here's another one. How cool is this? Now, this one has the pop-up feature. So you open the matchbook and it has this little pop-up on the top. And then the matches are painted or colored or whatever they are. I think this is adorable. I'm sorry, but this is just so cute. It says, learn to dance. Sold for $49, 13 bids plus shipping. I can see why somebody would want to collect the little pop-ups. They're cute. The next item is another one. Um, Coconut Grove. I don't know if that's like a hotel or something. Lives lost in huge fire. 400, oh wow. So see the rolling roof, dine and dance under the stars and sky. Huh. So maybe it's like a benefit dinner or something. Dinner, $1.50, you guys. Wow. Um, super cute. Super, super cute. And that sold for $48.99 with 12 bids plus shipping. And here's another little pop-up. Geeds in. I don't know. Geeds, guides, I don't know. So for $19, 12 bids plus shipping. This one says star pins. And these are vintage Rosado, 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 Rosati, Rosado, <laughs> Rosado Berry Bowling pins. And they look like bowling pins. How cute are they? Super cute. Sold for $32 with 11 bids plus shipping. Pop up. Here's another pop up. And there's the pop up. It's the. The Dancing Girl, and this sold for $47, 11 bids plus shipping. Featuring Greatest Latin American Stars, El Patio, two shows, nightly, very cool. Uh, Reno Nevada Matchbook Cover, the Tropics Girly Pinup Tiki Theme. So yeah, the Tiki and uh, Pinup Girl, this one isn't a nude one or anything like that. But some of them are, and some of those are bolos. So um, this one does not have matches, and this sold for $52, 10 bids plus shipping. Trucker, or trucker, Tucker, 1948 Tucker Automobile Johnny Williams Auto Company. So this one has a car on it. So people that like cars, it looks like no matches. Let's see, let's go down here. First completely new car in 50 years. Hmm. Contains no matches. Striker is attached. There it is, guys. Did you see the sold price on this? You ready? $394 with 10 bids plus shipping. Crazy! All right, the next item. 50 John Deere tractor match covers. I think that this person should have sold these separately. I don't know if these maybe aren't as old. Um, I think the ones that did really well had the um, picture on the matches and it doesn't show here. Uh, let's see. Struck, unstruck, one or more than one cover in the same stock. 38 cover show, no dupes. I don't know. I would have liked to have seen the inside. But these sold for $229.57, 17 bids. Uh, seller paid the shipping. I'm sorry, the buyer paid the shipping. The next item, Tacoma Beer. And again, it's got the pretty cool uh, matches. I love it. I think that's so neat. Sold for $158.50, eight bids plus shipping. Now this is really cool. This is kind of Halloween-y. halloween, -y. halloween -y. I probably would have put Halloween in the title. But it's a pop-up coffin. Kind of freaky. Kind of haunty. Kind of Halloween-y. Pretty cool, right? Sold for $102.50. Eight bids and the buyer paid shipping. This one is a pre-World War II United States Navy ship matchbook cover. And it sold for $75 with six bids plus shipping. All right, you guys, what do you think about these matchbooks? Definitely 
definitely, definitely can be a bolo. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Be sure to like that thumb, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a great night, you guys.